you know, you and I both came to this game, and because we'd played baseball, and we probably both, we've talked about this, we related the face of the club to the bat. Uh -huh. We didn't relate this to the bat. No. <laughs> which the, one of the biggest misconception is that this is the bat. Well, no, no, that's actually my left arm, and that club face down there, that's the bat. So when I came to golf, it was, it was nothing more, really, than a low outside pitch that I was going to hit to center field, and the face was the bat. So my, my golf swing was basically almost exactly what my baseball swing was, and all I had to do was control the face and hit the ball to center field. Now my swing took on that look. That was my baseball swing. In baseball, you hit the ball a lot farther out in front of you than you do in golf. So you hit it over in here. So I just figured out that I could just strengthen my grip and use my baseball swing. So I just played with a strong grip and hit it just like I would a, a a baseball. And, you know, it works. Now, uh, wait a minute. Go on. Uh, <laughs> see, what's not fair is that uh, that only, now I, I hit mine just about as good as I can. I mean, I'd, I could have made a little more swing, but you hit it a lot further. I don't want to hit it that far. <laughs> and, and, you know, here's what a lot of people fall into. First of all, what we did there is we took a motion we knew. I related the face and how I, how I pivoted the club. Milo initially strengthened his grip a little so the face was actually shut. So when he made the same move, he could still run the club face into the ball and hit it pretty straight. Yeah. Now, but when you hit it, you didn't drag the handle of the bat. You let the, hand, you let oh, the bat go. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to hit it. That went pretty far. I don't know. It went over 300 yards. It, so.